I have always loved looking after people. What a shame that a woman like you has kind of given up her life to serve a man. I'm getting married, I'm giving up everything, and I'm just gonna spend my days cooking, cleaning, and, you know, looking after Will. Friday night and Will and I are going out for dinner. Um, a local pub has just started doing food again so we're going to support them. I received a box in the post today and I think I will be able to wear what is in the box tonight so I'm just going to show you because it's an exciting one. It's by a lovely company called Fairfax and Favour and every now and again they do send me something which is lovely because I do buy their products regardless. Um, they are a British leather accessories brand if you like really elegant boots belts bags and accessories then you'll love this brand you should check them out <gasps> look at those I am so excited to put those on my feet these are their Kensington boots and go a size up if you do go for these um, I'm normally a six and I ordered a seven in these and I've just tried one on and it fits perfectly. A size smaller would not have fitted. I just asked Will to film me so that I could show you the complete outfit. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these boots. They feel gorgeous. And this dress is from Ganny, which I normally love, but their latest season is very, very strange. This is an old dress that I have worn to death. Oh, hello. Were you wondering what was going on? It was a fashion show, Diego. <laughs> Can we come in? <laughs> ah, that, that, that. He bit my camera. <laughs> ah, it's the next day. We had such a lovely meal yesterday. So in our old village, there were quite a few pubs uh, and they all have seemed to close down, which is such a shame because they were such an asset for the village. Um, but one has remained open, but only for drinks. However, um, a guy who used to be the head chef on a fleet of cruise ships has been out of work because no cruises are really going ahead at the moment and he's taken over the kitchen and the meal was amazing. We had duck breast. It was really, really lovely. Now today is actually slow day. That doesn't mean I'm taking things slow. Uh, that means we're going to start the process of making slow gin, which is my favorite autumn tradition ready for winter. So basically I make a sweet gin liqueur out of a wild berry that we find on the farm. It's called a slow berry. It's actually a droop. Um, it's a small stoned fruit, a little bit like a plum, but very, very tiny. It's a dusty blue color. It tastes really bitter. They make your mouth and tongue really dry. But if you mix them with gin and sugar and my secret ingredient that I might reveal later. <laughs> Sorry, I just sneezed. I'm a very sneezy person at the moment. I've just come off my hay fever medication because I thought there wouldn't be that much pollen in the air anymore. But it has come back. I'm just allergic to everything, it seems. But yes, the first step is to pick them all. And this year I am going to make 10 liters last year i made six liters this year i'm making 10 so i've ordered 10 bottles of gin they're coming in the post and will and i are going to take diego for a long slow picking walk it's going to be lovely we've got a purra me he's so sweet so a lot of you wanted an update on little Alfonso and he's doing so well. He's in his sleepy mode. He does like 20 minutes of playing. Are you nibbling? You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. 
You're so cute. No biting, no biting. But yeah, he's doing so well. He's getting really confident with Diego and he's been playing with his tail and Diego has let him. Diego's being really understanding and um, just gentle and just is putting up with a lot of your drama, isn't he? He's very confused when you run around the house like a crazy cat. But, but yeah, they're definitely bonding. It's so lovely to see. It's a tiny orange donut. A tiny orange donut. He's grown so much. He was two kilos when we got him late August and now he is 2.7. So he's put on nearly a kilo. Crazy. Oh. Just a little orange donut, aren't you? So we've just brushed Diego's teeth, haven't we? They're looking absolutely lovely. He has a little problem with a bit of dental staining, which, well, I brush his teeth every day, so I was surprised, but apparently that just happens. And now, the fun bit. Cutting your claws, but we have got some treats that um, Alfonso doesn't like, they're cat treats, and because they say cat on them, it makes them all the more exciting for you, doesn't it? You love eating something that's meant for a cat. Good boy. Oh, you like them now, Alfonso? Oh, Alfonso's now decided that he likes them and he's knocked them over. Well, you're just ruining everything. <laughs> you're looking at me like, Mum, get him away. So this is one of the benefits of having a light coloured dog. It's so easy to cut their nails um, because you can see where the white bit is that can be cut and where it joins to the flesh, which obviously you can't cut. So we've just done these very nicely. You look very, very smart, don't you? Very smart, but because Diego does a lot of running in fields and not on roads, they don't get worn down that much. Um, so we do have to cut them ourselves. <laughs> Nervous waggler. <laughs> Alfonso! Good boy. Good boy. That is for the dog. So I'm just gonna quickly cut Will's hair. My lovely aunt sent us a nice robe because Will was getting very itchy. Yeah, being covered in little hairs is not fun. So I will show you the finished look. This must be what, our fourth haircut now? Probably more. Yeah, probably more. And I'm still not that good at it. And there we are, the finished look. I have worked on my blending. So this bit up here, I can't see what I'm doing because he's so tall. Um, but yeah, I'm ha are you happy with it? Oh, sorry, dog, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, we're going slow picking. Diego's very excited because it means a bonus walk. <laughs> Here we are. This is the best slow location, location for slows, on the farm. Look at that. Look at that. So we're gonna see if they're ripe. Oh yeah, they're so squidgy. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Look how many there are. So I'm just putting them in a bag for now. Normally I put them in Ziploc bags to put in the freezer, because I'm going to freeze them so that it breaks the skins a bit. Um, but yeah, so happy with how many slows there are. Are you ready, Will? We're all very happy, yes. <laughs> it's a competition, you know, Will. So, I always have this competition with Will, but Will never knows about it, doesn't really bother with it. But I won last year and the year before, and um, it's basically who can pick the most slows. You've just got to go hard, get as many as you can in your hand. I've got nimble fingers, Will's got sausage fingers. Will does not have sausage fingers. This is how we're doing. These are mine. I'm not sure if you can see really. I'll show you when I get home. Um, Will, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing alright oh. until you stole my bag. No, I did not. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, looking get Will you? <laughs> You're getting all the tall ones. See, I can't reach those. Yeah, we reckon we're going to need around. 10 kilos, I think about a kilo per, li per litre. So, wish us luck. How are we doing now? 
I swear it looks like less, but there are loads in there. I'm really, really happy. So it's going really well. Um, I found another good spot, but I tell you what, it's really prickly. It's really ruined my nails as well, but I'm getting them redone on Tuesday, so it's not that bad. So the time has come to water and fertilize my citrus trees. So I'm using this. I'm using this because I watched a video on citrus tree care and this is the one they recommended. I'm very easily influenced. And um, yes, yeah, so we have a summer one and a winter one for when they're inside. Um, so I'm going to put yeah, like a nice teaspoon into each load of water. Look at these. These were my birthday present from my parents. They're by Errington Ray. I wonder if that says... No, it doesn't, but they're frost proof. But I just think they are... Sorry about my weeds. I'll sort these out tomorrow. I just think they look absolutely beautiful. They're quite rough. Um, so I wonder how lichen and moss and stuff will grow on it. But I absolutely love the blue colour. Hmm. I've just opened this and it's like bright green but I've used it before and it was white and dry and this looks very damp I think yeah it's solid inside oh I think they've got me a faulty one one that's been leaked on that's not good because I bought this ages ago so I don't think I'll be able to return it so we've got to check their bottoms to make sure water's coming out yep so you're done you are done and then a lovely viewer advised me the other day that I've got too much fruit on um for such a small tree so, oh, it pains me to take them off, but I trust you. Um, so I'll just pick, I'll just pick one. Oh, I can't, maybe it's a sign that I shouldn't. Oh, should I? Oh. I feel so sad about that. You tried so hard and I'll just hit, I'll just pick another here, this one, okay, and one here as well, there, thank you viewer, I've picked three, I trust your opinion, I'm just really sad to remove fruit, when are you going to be ready eh, we've got some really nice weather coming up, so hopefully they'll be really happy, yep, so this is the grand total, We've got, excuse me, you're not meant to come out. Sorry, mister. Um, yeah, we've got the grand total. Will had to stop halfway through in the end, so I put both of our bags together. So we'll never know who won. I definitely won. Um, I wonder if we've got 10 kilos there. We might actually need more than 10 kilos uh, because they're quite big. They're bigger than they normally are. They're very big and juicy, which means there's a smaller surface area of skins, which add a lot of the color. So I might actually need more. So we'll have to see. Um, but I think we'll, we'll probably end up going out a couple of times. And I need to freeze these, but I don't have the right freezer bags. So tomorrow I'll go and get some freezer bags. We'll pop them in the freezer. Hello, mister. You gorgeous thing. He's never been outside and he hasn't shown any interest, but I think it's just because I'm out here. Um, yeah, oh look, apple storage just for the day. Yeah, I'll keep you updated on this. Oh, <laughs> I'm back to my manky old hat again. I can't help it. This was the best hat I've ever bought. And it's got a huge sweat stain on it from my running. But the other hats just aren't cutting it. Um, I wanted to just mention something really quickly. I've had a couple of comments from people saying, what a shame that, you know, an intelligent woman like you, and I'm like, oh my God, they think I'm intelligent. <laughs> no, but people are saying, what a shame that a woman like you um has kind of given up her life to serve a man um or that you know all they see is me running around looking after will and i just want to make it very clear that that's not the case i only get to show you a very small amount of my week and my day um and i haven't been filming my own work because i didn't think it was that interesting for you a lot of it is me sat at a computer um, and a lot of it I can't discuss, but I just want to let you all know that I still have my career, I've still got my dreams, um, I'm still working really hard, and um, looking after Will is what I like to do, this is my choice. I have always loved looking after people, you know, even before Will was in the picture, 
my parents. I adored cooking for them when I lived with them. I love doing things and giving my time to people that I love. And I've received enough comments on this topic now that I can see that it's a common misconception that, you know, I'm getting married, I'm giving up everything and I'm just gonna spend my days cooking, cleaning and, you know, looking after Will. Not the case at all, but I can see maybe from the videos why you might think that. Uh, because I show myself making sandwiches and driving miles to bring him sandwiches, which, yeah, woman makes man sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> looking after people makes me happy uh, when I am at my happiest I love cooking for people and I love looking after people and actually that when I was feeling sad uh, you know over the past few months I noticed that I didn't enjoy looking after people as much and I didn't enjoy cooking as much as I've said and that really worried me so actually it's a really good thing that I'm back making Will lunch and um, just looking after him and looking after my family and another thing is I definitely don't film, you know, all the times Will helps me out as well. He is so good. So good. I've never experienced a man like this. He never says no to helping out. He does things off his own back. He's just awesome. Honestly, I wish everyone could have a Will. Because uh, he's not just a pretty face. He has a very pretty face. <laughs> but he is a helpful, thoughtful, kind human being as well. Just wanted to clear that up. Okay, it's Sunday morning and I have just noticed something extremely special. Can you guess what it is? I know, Alfonso. I had planted hundreds, if not thousands, of orange poppy seeds and they never came up. But I woke up this morning. I'm going to have to go out and see. I'm in my dressing gown and everything, but I don't care. Oh God, Will's got the key. One sec. Okay, this needs weeding here, but how beautiful. I was feeling really cross because I bought all of these seeds off Etsy and I thought that somebody had sold me a load of red ones uh, because a load of red ones came up, but I think I actually did spread. I've just been collecting seeds from other pods. So what I do is I collect the seeds from these. These will dry out and then I shake them all over the garden. And I've done that with a lot of red ones. So those must be the red ones and yes, I don't know if you know, but orange is my favourite colour. That's why I have an orange car, an orange cat, an orange dog, orange skin sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's incredibly exciting. Oh, so maybe next year there will be even more. Because I must say this strip is not the most fertile land really because we've got these huge trees here and they, they do shadow everything in the morning. And then something else exciting, my overgrown butternut squashes I did not think that these would produce any squashes because again they're in a shaded area but look at these little squashes growing they're already the right shape so I'm really excited about that if any experienced gardeners have any tips on <laughs> how to maintain this patch normally I just cut the leaves back and then mow normally um, yeah that would be great mm -hmm. 